Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be watching some more Teen Wolf Rats Season 2 Episode 5 and this one is titled Venomous. So there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot of questions, unanswered questions still for me, but you know, I'm all about finding out. So why don't we just get back in there? Let's go. Eric? Thanks. Anytime. Oh! Not Derek. You think it's him? You know, Jackson, you've always been kind of a snake. And everyone knows a snake can't be poisoned by its own venom. Just not the one we're looking for. So it's not him. I just talked to my dad, we just talked to Jackson, and I got really terrible, horrible, very, very bad news. I think I already know. So he could get back in, into school. Uh -oh. Somebody, which is probably why I tried to kill you. And he's still trying to kill you, and it's probably gonna stop until you're dead. You know, sometimes I really begin to question his friendship. It took forever, but I found a program that can cover your video. What's happening with him? He's not a shapeshifter, he's not a werewolf. What the fuck? Just to left and right. What the hell is a cannibal? Did he say testicle? Testicle left and right. What the hell is a cannibal? Cannibal? Alright, listen up. Do you have something you want to share with the rest of the class? Um, uh, just an undying admiration for my, my coach. That's really kind of you. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Anybody else? Oh. What? That's so creepy. What's she writing? So, someone help me. Someone help me backwards? What is that, Greek? Uh, actually, I think it is English. Yeah. Oh, come on. You didn't. People didn't recognize letters? They're so weird. Einstein once said. Two things are infinite. The universe and human stupidity. And I'm not sure about the universe. I uh -huh. myself. Whatever you're thinking about doing, wait. Give me a chance to talk to Derek. Why don't you talk to me instead? You think you can hurt me by sliding your hand up his thigh? Would you like it better if it were your thighs? Ew. The part of that last experiment I'm sure you'll all enjoy. You can eat it. They put something in to see if she would be poisoned by it. What? She's okay. So it is her. What? Is it her? Seriously, if anything goes wrong, you call me. Okay? So I, I don't care if your dad finds out. Call, text, scream, yell, whatever. I'll hear you and I'll find you as fast as I can. Ah. <laughs> Sensitive trigger. Canima. Do I have that right? Yeah. Like the wolf. 
its power is greatest at the moon's peak. <laughs> Sounds like a werewolf. <laughs> Where the wolf seeks a pack, the cannabis seeks a friend. Cannabis. A friend, what does that mean? Maybe it's lonely. Like a teenager. I'm not going to let you kill her. But who said I was going to do it? They're both so cringe. It happens rarely and it happens for a reason. What reason? Sometimes the shape you take reflects the person that you are. That's cool. So... Even Styles calls her cold-blooded. Oh. What if she's immune? There's been a few break-ins around the neighborhood. Do you have the key or not? Not. You just lied to me. Damn. You just lied to me. Him? You came into my house, into my room, and you saw what was happening to me. So you took the tape from the camera and you edited out the most important part. I don't know why. Maybe because you wanted to take that from me. Or maybe you just thought you were protecting me. But it was you, wasn't it? Did she just get, give it to him, or was it his all along? I think it was. But I've always wondered what it feels like to steal someone's boyfriend. Because why would he be waiting around to steal 10 minutes with you when he can have me anytime he wants. <laughs> you didn't really think that would work, did you? Actually, I did. Oh, she's gonna be paralyzed. Nice. Can you kill her? Losers. Mm. I think I'm finally getting why you keep refusing this, Scott. You're not an Omega. You're already an Alpha of your own pack. I, I was just gonna say he has his own pack. But you know you can't beat me. I can hold you off until the cops get. That's Jackson. <laughs> I'm crazy about here. Would someone please tell me what the hell is going on? More important than knowledge. 
I'm stuck. Where's he going? Who's he attacking? The fuck? Who's that? It's so cute! Oh, come on. Tell me. Ah, fuck you. Not cool. Not cool at all. I don't appreciate being toyed with. That thing was so cute. <laughs> Wasn't it? Am I the only one who thinks it was cute? Yeah, oh my god, this episode was so exciting. It was a rush and I was just like on the edge of my of my seat. It was really, really, really good. And I'm still a bit confused as of what's happening with Lydia. I don't know if they've been like exchanging. Like, it seems that it's with the saliva. And I really don't know, but as soon as they started kissing, it started showing up on his neck. So is it related? Was it really Lydia? at that time when she drank the well she ate the little thing in chemistry class and it, it didn't affect her so was it because it was her or was it never her i don't know but i'm really curious because i i really really loved how derek mentioned that the bite will affect you differently and you're gonna shape shift into something that like of how you are as a person will affect how you shapeshift and obviously it manifested differently for Jackson and he's uh, he's a cute little lizard snake thingy and someone like there's someone out there that he felt l drawn to that person I have no idea who he could be but they had that cute moment, like hand to hand. Maybe it's another, um, I don't know how they called it, Kanima? I don't remember. But um, maybe it's another one like him. So they could, because uh, they said that it was looking for a friend. He's lonely, maybe he needs a companion and just, you know. Maybe it's, Danny or the guy with the camera I don't know man as soon as I think something and I'm like oh it could be this oh it can't be him because I I feel like last episode I ruled out Jackson completely I was like oh it can't be him he was on the field so there has to be another one because we were seeing him at the same time on the field unless it happened really quick and then like he went away but could be th there's another one out there and they're just gonna gang up together i don't know if they're gonna be like a big threat for, to like the werewolves but i don't know it depends on how conscious how like conscious they are when they change like if he completely forgets who he is and who he knows and he's just gonna attack anybody then yeah it could be a problem but yeah that was good that was really good and I want to mention how, like I said that, Erica and Isaac, they're so cringe. They're so, like, why are they acting like this? I understand that they're betas, but the other guy, I don't remember his name, Boyd? Lloyd? The the third one, the most recent one, He he's not acting like a fucking douchebag. Like, they're walking around and Erica's so fucking annoying the way she talks and like she nods her head like that like shut up why are you acting this way so yeah they just annoy me to another level I really don't like them they're, they're just like so useless too like they think they're the shit but they both like get thrown out on their asses and they're just like petrified and uh paralyzed and they're just like <laughs> sorry boss it didn't work <laughs> but yeah this episode was really really good i was really excited and i'm still curious about like what's going on with lydia and i'm sure it's gonna be a 
something really sick. I hope something's going on with her because clearly she's affected in some way. We just have to like figure out how the bite affected her because she did get, um, she got bit by the alpha. So we'll see, but I freaking love this episode. It was great. It was season two, episode five, Venomous. Awesome. Really good. I'll see you guys in the next reaction and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.